Tanzanian special forces have learned that a group of rebels is hiding in a camp. These elite UN troops storm the base, going from tent to tent, capturing any rebels they can, killing those who resist. It is, of course, just a bit of theatrics. But it does have a serious purpose. The troops have been training at their new base outside Goma, practicing the kinds of missions they'll be expected to carry out in the coming months. This is UN peacekeeping as you've never seen it before. A new muscular force that isn't just protecting civilians, it's going after the rebels. As per mandate of the resolution 2098, we are to disarm these armed groups by force of arms, if need be, to ensure that at the end of the day, there is some peace and security in this general area. So that's why I'm saying it is a peace enforcement. The Intervention Brigade is a new concept for the United Nations, but the African Union has been doing something like it for years in Somalia. The troops there have joined the government against the rebels. Any pretense of neutrality is gone. But it has come at a price. They've taken on an experienced and well-armed enemy that knows the ground intimately. The AU troops have suffered heavy casualties. Bethra Basimwa is the political chief of M23, the rebel movement that he is most likely to be first on the list for disarming. He told me that up until now, they've seen the UN as a stabilizing force. If they change and they consider us as M23 as a... Um, um, a group which, be, which must be disarmed by force, I think that is, it will be a big mistake. A big mistake. Uh, but I, think, I believe that they know that. Intervention Brigade troops move through Goma to the front lines. This is part of the training, getting to know the area. They still haven't been ordered to begin operations. Brigade commanders say that they are combat ready, that there's no lack of any military capacity or will. What's holding them up, they say, is politics. These troops will go into action only when the diplomats give the orders. And so the Intervention Brigade soldiers continue their reconnaissance. They expect their orders to fight will come in September. Peter Grester, Al Jazeera, Goma.